So hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Fiat AME tutorial. Um, I'm trying to use a different approach in this tutorial so uh, I just record with my headset microphone and here is nothing pre-scripted whatever so mm, let's say the speech quality will be a bit less than in the previous tutorials um, but I think it's it's also something something new to, to experience okay so let's try out in this tutorial the new hairstyling feature um, which has been introduced in uh, one of the latest versions of VM, uh, I think it was 1.18.1. So in order to get this done, we first need to go to edit mode and then we select the person control and we select hair. So what we want to play with is the hair creator feature here. In order to get this added, we click on this icon here, we set a hook and we set, select customize. Then uh, we are here now in the uh, creator main tab. So here we can load some existing creations from us. But basically what we do here is we, uh, when we create something we need to give a creator name in this case it's just looking for nothing for myself and we need to add a display name and actually I cannot cr click on create new item and this was also something which <laughs> took a while for me to to figure out how uh, how this works so even if the store name is auto set you have to enter something here the store name is basically a unique ID of the hairstyle that you do and if this name is the same for two different uh, items then you will get an error message when VAM loads or try to, tries to load all the hairstyles so in this case what I'm doing is I take the shortcut here of my uh, of my name of my username and then I usually take the same naming like I have in the display name so I will just write here J L N F and then test 3 okay so now this comes green and we could save we could create a new item but before we do that we actually want to go into the style mode here so you click on this generate and style and then we get this nice men menu here so um, here on the top left side we can select the uh, mask of the scalp so if you do not mask something here then all the, the complete scalp will be uh, filled with with hair which is good for now I explained this a bit later why we could use that and for, for what we could use this feature but now let's start with the hair creation as such. So we have this Udane scalp, we have the Crying scalp, Leighton scalp. So they all have a slightly different outlook. Um, but we can modify for, for now for this test. I use this one. And um, then on the scalp materials, I can just change the color here to what I would like to create so I would like to have a, a blonde basic color here so the specular color and actually I need to increase the specular intensity a bit here and something like this okay so then Let's jump back to this uh, generate and style tab here and the next thing that we should think of is what is the basic length of the hair because these segments here they have influence on um, on the overall length of the hairs that you create 
So if you go only to two segments and click on generate here, the, the, the hair that you create on the on the head will be very small. I just show this now, click on generate hair and then you see it's really just, just short. So you have to increase that. The standard is five. Then it looks a little bit better already. So if you have these five segments and you put the length very short, then you can have a really short, uh, short hairstyle. But if you want to have really a, a long, really long hair, then five is not enough. And you would go to something longer so now 30 and that's now a quite a quite a long hair so I go back now to a let's say seven and also what is important the more segments you have the more uh, CPU and GPU intensive uh, your style will be okay then uh, we have these two tools here actually it can be up to four depending on what you uh, what you select here and these tools have different functions so you can set them to cut grow uh, cut means I can make hairs shorter just make the radius a bit bigger here then you can see that a bit more see it's I can make single hairs shorter like that some short hair on the front and some long hair Backside, which looks obviously <laughs> quite crappy. So I'm going to change that again. Go to generate hair. So here with this, you can you can reset, always reset if you did something wrong. So then uh, we can also do the opposite. It's grow, so we can make hairs longer. For example, to to have some some bangs extended that you want to do and hold is actually something you do nothing you just hold them in place that's helpful if you use the second one put that to hold and then you use the other one so I'm to to grab here and it just changes position here in front not in the area where I just put this hold tool and then we also have a nice tool which is called push here you can push the hair into different sections different directions Make them a bit messy or you can pull which is the opposite so you can make hairstyles like punky a bit strange now but let's see how this looks then in uh, if we, if you generate actually the uh, the hairstyle so we have now done some basic hair styling here however that looks um, and 
we are in style mode now. So if you click on keep style, then you will see it looks quite messy because we have to now to do two things. So the first thing is we have to rebuild style joints. So this has now turned yellow. Click on rebuild. And even then it's not not looking very nice. So the second thing is we, what we need to do is we need to change the rigidity of the uh, of the hairs. So the root rigidity will make the hair go a bit more straight and the main one is uh, is the let's say the the area in between the root and the tip and the most important thing here is the tip rigidity and then you can see if you just change that a bit so then even the, the rigidity of the main is not relevant anymore if the tip rigidity is too much then it will look like you have a glued hairstyle so I propose then that you would change the the root here and just use the uh, tip rigidity very carefully just otherwise you will not have any any movement mail on the on the hairs yeah, so now it's completely off okay so this is a hairstyle now that we have created it looks quite messy but we could save it now so you click on the creator again and you say create new item so now this has changed to override existing item um, because we have just saved one item with this name here and then after you have saved it you can take a screenshot for thumbnail and then I do it like this I have now my thumbnail here and basically um, when you go now to the hair creator you see that we have here our new hairstyle test 3 which you can just load so if I click if I load some other hairstyle from the talented Roac close that so this is one very nice hairstyle but also you see it's it's quite rigid here it looks like it has a ton of hairspray when you move it and that is basically the same physics settings um, the tip rigidity here is set to 11 to keep the hair in, in, in style but if you remove that or if you change that now and then you see the hair looks more natural while moving but the shape is not there anymore so this is really a bit of trial and error to get the hairstyle uh, nicely looking and on the same time have the hair moving and not looking like it's <laughs> It's full of glue. Okay, so then let's go back, remove that one and go back to our hair creator. So that style that we just made. We could also use that one here. It shows basically the same, but I want to make something something else now. So I I give this a new name. And you see it's still red over red existing item is there written because we have not changed the store name we also need a store name here so oops we make this four and this four and then we can create a new item 
So this is important to, to remember. So let's make some, some try out style here now. I have now reset that one. I make now a bit uh, longer hair. So that's not long enough even. Yeah, that should be fine. Should be just good. And then let's use our tools here. And in this case, I will use the brush tool. This is just, yeah, well, this is just working like like a brush. So, so I can just move the hairs around here like that. Let's make it a big, bigger to have some more effect here. Okay. like that and then let's move it like this here okay so this turns out quite quite nicely also then I used a pull brush to make some to make some accents here just a little bit when you make this um, pull tool, when you take it too big, then you will pull in more hair. So just just need to catch a few of them. So maybe another one here. Okay, like that. Then go back to the small one. Taking now the brush again. So you have to you have to try with the tool tips to get to get what you want. Okay. Just like this. So some some messy bangs, and we can now even use the uh, the grow tool to make these bangs here a bit longer than not much, but just a little bit. And we can also cut, for example, now here something. This area, make it here a bit shorter. Just like this. Okay, so now um, let me show you once more something. Um, the colors here on the head, uh, they are now mainly red and also this, um, the hair as such is now in, uh, in orange color. And the more red, reddish tone we have here, uh, when we create, uh, or when, when we actually generate the hairstyle, uh, the more rigid it is. So what we can use here is to use the painted rigidity, that one, and then I have this rigidity increase and decrease here. So I would like to have the top area more rigid but then I use this decrease function to make the area here a bit more more greenish just to to have the hair really
really nicely reacting on the, on the physics. Okay, so that's fine and now um, I think I'm okay with that style and then I say here keep style and then the hair looks like that. Now I have to rebuild style joints again. Okay. It's not actually what I would like to have, but you can uh, you can change something here. Um, style rigidity is now controlled by painted lighting, so I cannot do something here. If I want to change this here, I need to go then uh, back into the style mode, and I have exactly what I what I had before here. And what I don't like actually is that. The hair is so flat now here, so I would then use the, the pull tool again. Try to try to give it up, make it up a bit more. That's too much. So actually you can also add this tool with the with the grab buttons of, of the controller and you can move it without clicking. So every time I use the trigger now, then it's pulling. See? Uh, let's make this area here a bit more growing like that. Not so flat. Then Again, I use the brush tool. You can spend hours with that stuff here. Okay. All right. And then again, I'm uh, decreasing the rigidity a bit here this area to make it a bit more soft here in this area. I just want to have the, the tip the tip in red. I'm sorry, not the tip, the root in red. So get this. To get this basic style like that okay that is okay I think and then I just say keep style and rebuild style joints yeah that's a bit better better so you can see that creating these hairstyles really takes a lot of time and if you have uh, this perfect hairstyle, so I'm just saving this now, create new item, take a screenshot, like that, click, okay. Um, so if you see, for example, this, the hairstyles of uh, Rohak, like this, so he you can imagine how how much time he invested to get this done so nicely. And um, yeah, well, finally, I would like to show you something more, and that is actually using the masking feature on head. So if you remove that, yeah. You can have sections of hairs. If you you can make a hair uh, style from different parts. So, for example, if I would now put this side tail, you see then that we just have here a tail and nothing else. Everything else is is not covered with hair. 
or this knot. So it's just a knot on the back side, but here we have no, no hair. And what we can do is we can combine different hairstyles. So for example, this one, then you can make a knot in addition. So to make this a bit more interesting. And this is what you what you do basically with uh, with the creator. If you use that one again, so our style here, and um, I'm going to use now the scalp mask edit, just to give you an idea. So I'm changing this now to something else. Doesn't matter. And. Um, Now, before I click on generate hair, I go to the scalp mask editor, say start, and then you see the complete model has changed to a, to a standard pose and standard size because that mask is now glued to the, uh, to the head here. So we have our masking tool, we can mask or unmask. So everywhere where you have this white uh, these white dots, that means we have some hair growing on these positions. And when you now want to have, for example, only some bangs that you want to add to some, uh, uh, to some other hairstyle, what you do is you mask all the area in red, which is not needed for your hairstyle. That's a bit tricky. Now let's let's use that. It's sometimes they they come back somehow, but I don't know why they're coming back, <laughs> but on every white dot that you have here, you will have some some hair growing at this position. Let me just make all of them black, uh, all of them red. Okay, like that, and then uh, well. Let's unmask and put some some happy little banks right here and right here, just like that. Okay, and then I say finish. And then what you can see is now we have just these hairs here floating around. This is these are our banks. And they are now just straight. And I would now go to style mode. And then I can just use the pull tool here, for example, and then just make them going down a bit. And as you can see now, they are color wise. They are now all reddish and and orange. That means they they are very strong, keeping their their position. So either now we could use the the painted rigidity, or we can just play with the physics. So we have that disabled now, and then you can also see the. What, what what happens here? So if I increase the tip rigidity, then uh, it's almost all red, and the main. This is basically uh, the area in between the the root and the tip. So you 
can make this area now green for example and now here only the top part holds the position while the rest is just falling down so and also on the root we can change that a bit so if we decrease that here just let's go to the standard one here 0 0.2 so then everything from here from this position on just falls down quite easily okay and there's one more thing this um, rigidity roll off this is changing how fast the mm, let's say the red goes into the green so the more roll off you have from the root the more quick it changes to to green okay so with all this rest the rest of the settings here you have to have to play around a bit to yeah to experiment and uh, to get something nice done actually what i wanted to show here is just um, some this basic stuff to get you going with that so now i can say keep style again now my banks are falling here actually i would like to have them a bit more long so i use the grow tool then increase that a bit here it's not growing endlessly that's the point here okay keep style rebuild which is now very quick and then we have our two two banks here what I forgot is I did not use the same scalp here but I can do is to change also the scalp color to have it roughly the same roughly the same like like these two banks here just saving these banks now as a new hairstyle item same here okay create new item that's done then I take this screenshot again click and then finally you can just use any any hairstyle and just add then this these banks that have been added and then there is uh, one more thing uh, we can also have the hair preset so now i have selected two hairstyles to get that hairstyle here well let's rather look take that one here yeah that's a bit more nice so let's take this one and um, then we just go to the hair presets and then we have now two different hairstyles selected and then I give it a name here J L N F style test whatever you name it create a new preset then like that so when I now go to the hair presets here um, select existing you can use any one like that one for example from Hohak and then also I should have my new style here somewhere oh it's not 
That's interesting. Ah, okay, because I was in the subfolder. So I use then this style test. And as you can see, I have the, have the additional banks here. When I go to the hair, I have the banks and as well the main style here. Yeah, so that was it for this tutorial, just to give to give you an idea how this works. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching again. Bye bye.